The group is recognizing Ohio for what it calls progress in juvenile justice reform. The group's report says in nearly a decade, the Buckeye State has drastically cut the incarceration of children. Today, about 500 are jailed. Two News reporter Birchelle Edmay tells us what is working in Montgomery County. The Juvenile Justice Coalition says Ohio should serve as an example for the nation when it comes to our juvenile justice, justice system. But we wanted to get a closer look at Montgomery County. And what we learned is that the courts and law enforcement have put together programs to create reform. Doing time used to be the punishment for the crime, even if you're a child. But not anymore. There's a large push to move towards rehabilitation first. We had way too many kids in, in prison. We just did. The Juvenile Justice Coalition agrees with Judge Anthony Capizzi. Executive Director Aaron Nivies tells me new policies are taking a closer look at how to help these kids. It's really making sure that we're matching youth with the right program um, and addressing what they're presenting to the system. So the underlying reasons of why they're coming to the attention of the court system. Judge Capizzi has a first-hand view of the reforms. He has served at the Montgomery County Juvenile Justice Center since 2004. Over the last, I'll say about seven years now, Montgomery County used to send about 180 youth to Department of Youth Services every year. We're down to about 30 to 35. It's an amazing, probably 80 percent reduction in the number of young people we send. The judge says his court still holds these children accountable for any convicted crimes, and the safety of the community is not compromised by these rehabilitation sentences. We don't send every child to jail just because we're going to send them to jail. These programs also save thousands in tax dollars. If I have a child in treatment, it may cost me $3,000 a year. If I have them in a detention facility or in a correction facility, it may cost the community fifty dollars or $60,000 a year. Do you see the difference? I see the child in a different way. They treat themselves. They respect themselves better. I see the family much prouder of their child for having completed the treatment program. And that's something Judge Capizzi believes is worth replicating across the nation. I can very proudly say we're doing it the best of anybody in the country. The report found that three years after the first offense, 50% of kids re-enter into the justice system. Officials say for kids who are sentenced to rehabilitation programs, that percentage is lower. Birshal Admay, 2 News, working for you.